We're at TV Lines Comic Con Lounge, presented by ZTE with the cast of Riverdale. Welcome. Woo! Thank you. Yes. I have never read an Archie comic in my life. Am I going to know what the f*** is going on? Yes. Yes, yes, yes you are. First of all, I don't believe that. Is that true? That is absolutely true. But you knew who Archie and Betty and Veronica were. Yes, I know who they are, but I've never read a comic. Okay. I don't enjoy reading. Okay, uh, it makes, makes my eyes. That's, a lot of people don't. And that's why we brought this one to life. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do all the to show the. I mean, sorry, but like the younger generation. Wow, sorry. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, wow. the younger ones. <laughs> like I'm talking about the like preteens. Yeah, good save. Yeah. <laughs> Set the scene for me. Obviously, it's inspired by the Archie comics, but let, you know, why don't you explain how, what the setup of the show is? Uh, the setup is um, it's sophomore year for Archie and all of his friends, Jughead, Betty. Um, uh, uh, Moose, Reggie, Kevin, all of them. And uh, on the last day of summer, a mysterious new girl arrives to Riverdale. Tr uh, a scandal is trailing behind her. That is Veronica Lodge. <laughs> uh, and she kind of walks into Pop's famous diner in Riverdale, right in the middle of a uh, uh, possible date between Archie and Betty. So the love triangle starts there. Very Gossip Girl. It's very Gossip Girl. We'll, we'll get ready because while that's ready. also happening, <laughs> over the summer, uh, one of the high school kids, uh, this golden boy named Jason Blossom, drowned under mysterious circumstances. Uh, his sister Cheryl Blossom was there. They're twins. Uh, they're twins. And more, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, and you soon realize <laughs> that everyone is caught up in this mystery. Sounds very Twin Peaksy. It's incredibly Twin wow. Peaksy. It's, it's very, it's very, <laughs> it's very, <laughs> we, we use Twin Peaks a little bit as, a, as, a, as an inspiration the same way that it was the homecoming queen who died in Twin Peaks. It was, oh. what would that be like if you followed the kids through that investigation? And we have mentioned. Right. And we have mentioned. And we have mentioned. Yeah. So. yeah, exactly. We have Twin Peaks. So it's really Twin Peaks. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So let's go through. You guys, tell me who you're playing. KJ, obviously you're playing Archie. Yeah. I love your red hair. Thank you. Really growing in nicely. <laughs> uh, I will obviously have. I have every idea. What was your reaction when you were approached about this role? Any trepidation? Obviously, um, it's an iconic character. Yeah, exactly. I was kind of nervous um, because I knew it was such an iconic all-American character, um, and coming from New Zealand, I thought I'd get a bit of. Um, Stick from it, yeah. you know, because someone, people, fans being like, you know, this is a New Zealander playing an all American character, this is not right, but mm -hmm. it's, the feedback's been okay, it's been good. Yeah. yeah, and when will you dye your hair? Very soon before we start shooting. And then you'll just keep it like, mm -hmm. in... yeah. He's filming a movie right now, Hopefully so forever. Uh, okay. yeah. He went back to normal. I'm Madeleine, and I play Cheryl Blossom, the town villain. Nice. I'm Camila Mendez, and I play Veronica Lodge. I'm Lily Reinhardt, and I play Betty Cooper. Hello. I am still Luke Perry, and I uh, I, I play Archie's still? dad. Yeah, I play Fred Andrews. Andrews Construction. We pound the nail. <laughs> <laughs> that one. I'm working on that one. Uh, I'm Cole Sprouse, and I play Jughead. So I think people, at least I was expecting, having no real knowledge of the source material, except mm -hmm. sort of just, you know, generally speaking, that it would be a light show. Oh, I think people are right. going to yeah. be surprised to find out how dark is it. How dark does well, it actually get? there's a lot get? of light in amongst the dark. Yeah. I mean, the nature of, of the way that the pilot was written, there's so much humor mm -hmm. laced in the dialogue that when the darkness comes, it, it, it's such a great mixture. Yeah, it I, really I, is. I can't wait for people to see it because you're right, people are out there saying it's this weird, dark, it's twisted a show. It's book, yay. Uh, uh, but it's, a, but it, it's as Luke said, it's a really nice balance between what people think of when they think of Archie's, I gotta go to the dance, I got two girls, uh, I wanna have a milkshake with this girl, I wanna get on the cheerleading. It's, it's those classic kind of coming of age stories that you know from 75 years of Archie comics. And then it's got this kind of shadow world underneath it um, and kind of like exploring the secret life of all these characters that you thought you knew.